Krita has layers. No, I'm not talking about the one, two, three layers that you can add until your computer crashes, but layer modes, also called blending modes, which change how the pixels you paint interact with the pixels beneath them. So above the opacity option here, which is the opacity for the layer that you have selected, we have blending modes or layer modes. So if I go to this layer and then I select a different layer mode, everything that I paint on here is going to act differently. So if this was normal, which is the default, um, it's just going to paint this purple in, right? But if I select addition, everything I paint on here is going to act as the addition blending mode. Now for addition, what it does is it takes the color values of the red, green, and blue spectrum and it just adds it to whatever is underneath it. So if I go up to here to settings, dockers, and down to specific color selector, it'll pop up here next to your advanced color selector. You can see that we have three spectrums, red, green, and blue. They range from 0 to 255. So if I max out all of these, it's going to be white. And if I bring them all to zero, it's going to be black, which of course doesn't appear on addition because we're adding by zero, right? Because we would be adding um, these numbers to the colors below them. So let's change this to normal um, real quick, just to show you that this in do does indeed uh, make black. There we go. So if I make on the normal layer, red. And then I go up to this top layer and I make yellow. Color pick this. It's pure yellow. And that's because we're never going to exceed the upper bound. So we're adding 255, 255, 0 to 255, 0, 0. So 255 plus 255 is going to be uh, 510, but because we can't have 510 here, it just reverts back to 255. If you look on the Krita manual, if you make your way over there, um, it'll have some of these calculations listed out, but it'll say something like 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0, and then whatever the calculation is, and you're probably thinking, why is it 0.5? Why is it not 255 or half of that? So 127.5, I think, um, plus, you know, whatever. And that's because Krita converts it to a percentage, and then that percentage to a decimal. So 50% would be 0.5, and 1 would be 100%. Now, you can toggle that by just clicking this percentage sign up here. So burn is basically like divide. So let's just cover divide first instead of going straight to burn, which is right here. Now divide will take the numbers on the bottom layer, the numbers meaning, right, these guys. So we'll take these numbers here and it will divide them by the numbers of the color you selected. So these numbers here and basically brightens everything and you end up with the opposite color of what you chose. So I chose pinkish magenta here and it's painting green. If I go to green it's going to go to this pink color. Now what burn does is it inverts the colors on the bottom layer first. It takes whatever colors these are and it says okay if this is 255 now it's going to be 1 over 255. It inverts it, then it does the division, just like divide does, and then it inverts the result again. So if the result ends up being 1 over, you know, 47.5, it becomes 47.5 over 1, right, if you wanted to be consistent with it, but it's just 47.5. What ends up happening is you sort of darken everything, but also the color you choose is the color that ends up on the burn layer. Okay, color is next. Let's choose red, just so it's nice and easy to see. All it does is that it changes the hue of the pixels beneath it to the color that you chose to paint on the color layer. 
So if we look at the specific color selector, we can see that the red channel is kind of all over the place, but the green and blue channels always have the same value, so 55% in both of them. And that's because it's changing the value, but it's never going to be changing the hue because we've locked it into that one red hue. Now color dodge is, again, another one that's pretty similar to divide. So the only difference is that it inverts the colors on the top layer first before dividing by the numbers on the bottom layer. So what ends up happening is, so for color dodge, this is red, but if I changed it to divide, it's going to be the opposite color again. You might be thinking, okay, this is pretty similar to burn, which it is. Uh, the only difference being that burn is going to darken it and color dodge is going to lighten it. Moving on to erase, pretty simple. It just takes whatever strokes you make and erases with them. So if I change the opacity to 50%, um, it would erase by 50%, and it cuts through every layer. So if I duplicated this background layer, it cuts through both of them, right? So let me move one of these around. You can see the bottom layer is here, but the erase stays in the same place. So it doesn't follow at either of them because it's on its own layer, and it punches a hole through every layer below it. Okay, so luminosity. What luminosity does is it takes the value of the color you select on the top layer. So right now I have this very middle purple. And it takes that value, which is about 50%, I would say, and it says, okay, let's look at these bottom colors and we change the value to that value of the top layer. So what ends up happening is that if, if I go to the specific color selector and I just drag my color picker around, you can see that it's trying really hard to maintain that exact same value. So I get this really weird gray across everything. It doesn't change the hue, right? So this is still yellow. You can see the yellow of the rabbit a little bit. You can see the purple of this cloak a little bit and some greens in here, but it's all the same value or as close as possible to the same value of the one I selected. Okay, so for multiply, it's just gonna take the numbers here and it's going to multiply them with the numbers here on the bottom layer. So this is where it's important to know that they're using decimals because you would think that it's going to lighten everything, but it's not because we're multiplying by numbers less than one. So it's actually going to decrease the value um, here. So it's going to darken everything. So let's take this blue and you can see that it's darkening everything. Um, Right, these numbers are closer to zero than these are. Right. Next is overlay, but I'm going to skip that for now and go straight to screen because screen is needed to understand how overlay works. So what screen does is it just inverts the numbers of the colors before multiplying them together. So visually, it's pretty much the opposite of multiply. So if I take this here, and then I switch it to multiply, it's going to darken it, right? This darkens it, this lightens it. Now, overlay is a combination filter. So if the lightness value of the color I select, so the value here, if it's below 0.5, so if it's darker than a middle gray, it's going to use the multiply filter except it doesn't, right? Because that's what the creative manual says it does, but it's clearly slightly different. And if it's above 0.5, it's supposed to, if I use this lighter blue, let's use the even lighter blue, it's supposed to act as screen. So if I go to screen, again, clearly different, but this is what Krita says it does, even though it's clearly a different color that's being shown here. Now, soft light is a version of hard light. And to get to hard light, we need to go into these drop down menus here. It's going to be under lighten and hard light right here. Click that. Now, hard light is supposed to be another filter like overlay. 
except it's going to be the opposite. So with overlay, the darker colors would act like multiply and the lighter colors would act like screen. But with hard light, the darker colors are going to act like screen and the lighter colors are going to act like multiply. Except, again, that's not really how it works. To illustrate this point, I've created sort of a visual aid. So here at the top of each of these sections, I have the same bright yellow, and at the bottom I have the same dark yellow. Now, the bright colors in overlay should act like screen. So if I took the same color and I used the screen blending mode, they should be the same. But screen is a bit brighter, although they are similar, I'll give you that. But for hard light, it should be using multiply because it's the opposite of overlay. But this is what multiply looks like with that exact same color. Clearly not the same. Same with the screen. Screen Hard light should be using screen with this color, and this is what it looks like if you were to use that color in the screen blending mode. The only ones that really look similar are the hard light and the screen, which shouldn't be what it looks like, right? Because this should be using multiply, not screen. And I can illustrate this point further by bringing the opacity up on this black layer I have here. If hard light was using screen for this color, then we would be able to see it just like we can see screen here with this color if it were identical. So maybe it's performing a similar operation or it's a little bit different because you know it's merging two different operations into one spectrum of a single filter. You know there's some differences but it's clearly not the same visually so it's a bit misleading that they say that, that would, that's what happens, right? That above 0.5 um, it's going to act like one way and below 0.5 Below 0.5, it's going to act another way. You know, mathematically, that might be the case, um, but visually, it's clearly different. Now, soft light is just a softer version of hard light. So, if I go to soft light here, go back to hard light, go back to soft light, you can see that it's basically just a more transparent version of hard light. Now, if I went to hard light and I paint it in black, it's going to be black. But if I went to soft light, it's just going to darken everything. So you can actually paint with pure white and pure black and soft light and it's going to darken or lighten the pixels underneath it, but if you do that with hard light, it's just going to output um, straight white or straight black. That's soft light, and this is hard light. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.